to Medica Nova Wellness Studio. I'm Angelica Maria Koch with the educational videos about optimal health and the most innovative and holistic approach for your well-being. So in today's new discovery series, Healthy Family and Soul Medicine, let's have a look at the common but also irritating ailment, especially among teenagers called acne. As already mentioned in previous videos before in this discovery series, I would like to focus on simple and accessible homeopathic remedies and natural supplements which you can get hold of in your local health food store. So nothing too overwhelming and nothing too complicated. Healing can be a very complex subject, but in its core essence, it's always simple. I want to keep it that way. So what is acne? Acne is a skin condition which affects the hair follicles and they can get clogged up with excess oil or dead skin cells. It often affects your face, your chest, your back and your shoulder and it can be also very persistent. So if one pimple is about to go, another one crops up. And among teenagers often this is also an emotional experience. So the hair follicles are connected to oil glands and these glands secrete a substance called sebum is actually quite beneficial for the body because it lubricates your hair and your skin. So the sebum normally travels along the hair shaft and through the opening uh, of the hair follicles onto the skin. But when the body produces an excess of oil, then in dead skin cells, you know, are there as well, that creates an environment which attracts a lot of bacteria and fungus. And then we have this soft plaque forming and uh, often we have then a white head or black head as well as often uh, under the skin we have really hard cysts or lumps appearing which are difficult to shift. So for adolescents the period of hormonal changes uh, can be very distressing. Why? Because they're very occupied with their appearance, in particular about the skin and the hair spend a lot of time. Maybe when you have a teenager at home you can't go into the bathroom because it's occupied for hours, right? You know that. So teenagers also work on their skin a lot. They put a lot of lotions and cream on and rubbing and of course this makes the whole thing even worse because now we create a moist environment where bacteria and fungus even thrive more. Also the added sugar level on the skin doesn't help. So what are the factors which usually make acne worse or can create acne? Hormones, right? they're called androgens and they increase during puberty among boys and girls to quite a drastic um, increase so the sebaceous glands enlarge and therefore produce more of the sebum. The hormonal changes can be also in pregnancy or if teenagers are given oral contraceptive medication to quench their acne, right? And that does never made sense to me. You know, why play around with the uh, disturbed hormone imbalance anyway already? Um, but also, yes, the contraceptive can actually produce more acne. The low amount of hormones uh, in the blood of a woman also can be part of the causes of acne. Uh, for example, in menopausal women, suddenly acne appears and they never had it for decades. Um, often in young teenagers, acne appears a week before the menses appears or on ovulation onwards. So um, have a look out for that. Medication, any drugs which contain corticosteroids, androgen hormones as well as lithium, um, have um, side effects to produce acne. So what is corticosteroids? Well, these are drugs like prednisone, which are used for rheumatoid arthritis and lupus or asthma, allergies. Um, also for Addison disease, you know, when the adrenal glands are not able to even produce the most minimum amount of natural corticosteroids, um, the side effects, you know, can be acne. Diet, big, big one here is a big point. You know, dairy today is of a cause, yes, because our milk and our dairy products are now um, just stuffed up with growth hormones or chemicals 
So it's not just a pure protein anymore, it's a mixture out of protein and carbs and of course the body always you know, wants the quick fix, the quick energy and it goes for the carbs, the sugar in the milk and the proteins are often undigested within your body. So that can be part of it. I would say go more for a raw food, you know, vegetables, quench more the sugar, uh, keep out of the high carb food, definitely step away from bread, you know, fried food, uh, the chips, you know, and even chocolate. Yes, it does uh, aggravate the skin as well. Um, I would say as a simple and effective uh, tip here, go and get yourself apple cider vinegar, Bragg's apple cider vinegar really helps you beautifully. And you're going to take a teaspoon and a glass of lukewarm water and you drink that first thing in the morning. And after months or even early, we'll see that your skin starts to cleanse from the inside out. And that's what we want. We want a glowing, healthy skin. Then, of course, stress goes without saying. If anybody is exposed to long-term anxiety or grief, it will affect the skin automatically. But let's go straight today into just some natural uh, protocols here. I suggest also a combination of homeopathic remedies and supplements here and also external um, applications, particular with honey or cinnamon or clay, but we will talk about it in a minute. Now, in homeopathy, we have about 4,000 remedies, so I'm not going to give you a whole list uh, and difficult to attain remedies. We want to keep it simple. I will give you the most indicated ones, but here, the magic is that we want to um, really match the remedy, not just to the pimple, but the personality, and therefore it becomes an individualized medicine. Right? It's easy to just uh, get a product and say, oh, I have a pimple on my nose and I want to get rid of it. Now we want to heal from within. We want to really cover the totality of the person. And I will show you how to do this. The first remedy is called HEPA self. And you will get potency uh, 6 and 30 usually in your house food store. Um, here I would suggest the 30. The way you take these remedies, put them under your tongue, let them dissolve 5 or 10 minutes before and after you take these remedies, do not eat and drink. Just give it time for the body to absorb this beautiful frequency. So in HEPA-SELF, the remedy for acne is very effective for this pustular uh, acne, you know, the, the big, big pustules coming out. And it is very much indicated for acne in youth. Now, this, this, the distinguishing keynote here, and that's really what gives it away, is that these pimples are very painful. So you touch your skin and you think, oh my God, you know, it's really painful. It's almost like a sharp stitch in there, like a splinter-like pain. That's very much hyper self. And needless to say, the personality of the, per, uh, of the affected person is really about being very much on edge, touchy, you know, uh, like being sort of stung by a splinter. So they have tremendous fear of being alone. They're very concerned about the health of their relatives. And they feel the people who they depend on, you know, during that time of puberty, they still want support, they still want their love, they treat them badly. They feel humiliated, they feel pushed down, and so they react, they become quite violent and even in their head they think about I'm going to put the house on fire, right? These are the situations which you see globally right now before revolution starts, right? When you feel you are terribly insulted, you are offended by the person who's supposed to look after you, like the king or the president, yeah? And then we have violence coming up. So you can see here, what I'm trying to point out is the pimple you have on your face, which is very painful, also is a reflection of your personality, right? The kind of pimple, the kind of acne you express is actually a mirror of your own behavior. 
And that's the magic where homeopathy really cannot just heal the pimple, but also really balances the mental and emotional conflict within. So here I would say one tablet daily, maybe for 10 days, see how it goes. If you're in doubt, always contact your healthcare practitioner and contact me at health.medicanova.net. I'm happy to help you or leave your comments and I really want to support you out there. The next remedy is called Calcarea sulfuricum. It comes in a potency of 30, but also it comes in a different form. It's called tissue or cell salt, biochemic tissue or cell salt. In the Americas, usually under the manufacturer Highlands, you can find it. So here the remedies is about that the pimples separate. They have this deep yellow discharge coming out and it oozes off mud. I know it sounds a bit yucky here, but we want to differentiate. You really want to learn here. So the teenager also feels very embarrassed and wants to hide and what people think about me. And they really don't want to go to school if there's a pimple on their nose. Right? It's, a, it's a big deal. So here I would say uh, calc self in the tissue salt form. Um, take about two tablets morning and evening and do it for months and see how that works. Calc self is a wonderful um, media which is a blood purifier. It really has an effect on the detoxification on the liver. So it's what we want here. The next remedy is called Kali Promatum 30. And here again, the acne goes much deeper. It also leaves more scarring. So it's more on the face, the chest and the shoulders. And there can be a marked itching going on. But really what gives it away is that the acne, and I put a picture up here so you can see it, has this bluish red discoloration. And it leaves really, really ugly scars. And that gives it away. Kali Promatum, wonderful remedy here. Now, what's the personality? You will see it makes more sense now when we start talking about it. Here, these teenagers, they carry extraordinary guilt about their upcoming sexual urges. They may be brought up in a traditional environment or religious environment where talking or expressing your sexuality is a taboo. And so they fear that maybe a family member finds out that they are now started to masturbate, for example. You know, they really ter carry terrible guilt about this whole thing and then get punished for. So the idea or the impression would be that there's a danger coming from the family whose support they still need. The person becomes very supportive of his family, extremely duty conscious and goes out, you know, they conform and to the family ethics and their norms and they really want to do well. They're very helpful to everyone, highly industrious and always busy with themselves. But they're also very anxious because they feel that if somebody of the family really founds out and pounces on them, what would happen? And they feel it so badly to the point that they feel they have even committed a crime, right? And you can see that the emotional and mental core here is much deeper and therefore the kind of acne is also different because now we have the blue and reddish discoloration and the scarring going on. The next remedy is called Nacho Moriaticum. It's made out of sea salt. Again, here the um, potency 30, I would say. The remedy is often indicated for itchy acne, and here the face is very oily, particularly the cheeks and the forehead. Uh, can be a prickly pain here involved, and here the personality is very introvert, very reserved, often the lone wolf. They don't, in, don't throw themselves in the middle of the party, they're on the periphery, they're better for one to one conversations rather than exposing themselves in front of a group, for example. They feel easily betrayed uh, by the person whom they seek, you know, their relationship, their love, and they feel like I will be let down or betrayed or disappointed by the person I trust and depend on, the one I love most. 
So there can be maybe a separation, a loss or a death in the family and they carry the silent grief within themselves. They don't cry very easily. So natural mirror becomes a wonderful remedy if there is acne involved. The next remedy is called sulfur. Again, sulfur 30, I would say. Um, if nothing helps, try sulfur. I try sulfur here. There is more an itchiness going on, a burning sensation even with the acne. And here the teenager is terrible lazy and much more in their head than in their body. It's like the philosopher Einstein comes to mind, right? They have a lot of ideas, a lot of plans, but really don't care to tidy up their room. You know, that's the least on their mind. So scratching makes it worse, you know, it just moves around the bacteria and the fungus on the skin more. Again, sulfur 30, maybe one tablet for 10 days. See how that works. Now, what's the personality here? Sulfur is very much about the ego and the get and the pride gets easily scratched on. So they feel scorned, suppressed, they feel criticized, put down and they feel humiliated again, their pride is hurt. There's therefore this constant effort uh, and struggle, you know, to come again, to, to earn their respect and they don't feel appreciated. So they do anything in order to feel appreciated again. They talk about their knowledge, you know, about what they have done, their skills and really let everyone know I am a great person. But failing in this subject also creates a lot of embarrassment. So the sensation or the feeling of embarrassment is big here in sulfur. Struggle in this person's is for ego and honor, as I mentioned before. And um, I mentioned the remedy Kalk Self just a minute ago. And the self component is or the sulfur component is very much related to one's ego. So in uh, calcium sulfurica, it's really about they just feel embarrassed about having acne, whereas in sulfur, it's about, hey, I'm a big guy and I'm not appreciated, right? It's a little different and sulfur is very helpful here. So I want to just mention two homeopathic remedies which focus on hormonal changes. One remedy is called Pulsatilla 30. It's a great remedy for girls who are a little bit obese and also experience irregularities uh, during their menses. So they maybe have their period and then after six, eight weeks, nothing happens and then it comes back again. Or girls who are 16, 17, 18 years old even and haven't gotten their period yet. So Pulsatilla is a great remedy which can balance this hormonal dysfunction here. So what's the personality? The personality is mild, shy, easily move to tears, right? They want you to hold their hand when they're ill. They want the cup of tea, they want the hot water bottle. Um, as I said, they easily feel unloved, abandoned, you know, and very easily move to tears. I mentioned this very easily and, and weepy and crying all the time. The acne is also worse in heated environments as well as rich food and too much sugar really affects them badly. Think about this remedy when you see this personality. The last one is called sepia. It's made from the cuttlefish. Again, the potency 30 would be appropriate here. And here it's more indicated for pimples and acne in women before the menses and also during menopause. It can happen that suddenly a menopausal woman experiences acne and never had it for decades, but that's because of the hormonal changes. It's, the pimples are often around the chin and I put a picture up so you can have an idea around the chin line here or the neck and that's a clear indication that this is a hormonal symptom. So the sepia personality is also very distinct. It's a classic of today's society. It's a hardworking woman, right, who has maybe three kids at home and she's the only breadwinner and she has to go to work. But really inside her heart she feels like, I would like to be with my kids. Right, so she feels like she has to do something against her will. The periods are heavy, you know, the heavy flow and painful, and often she's snappy before the period starts. There can be even an indifference feeling towards her husband 
and her children even, because really she's worn out, she's exhausted. So when you see this personality and the expression on the skin in regards to the acne, then sepia is a wonderful remedy. In both cases, I would say take the remedy, take one tablet and start at the first day when the period just stopped and drag it out for the next three weeks on a daily basis and then stop the week before the period starts. And do this for about three months and see how it works. Um, any female and hormonal challenges take about three months to settle. So give yourself time, try it out every month and not only will your acne disappear but also your mental and emotional um, personality will settle a little bit if there was a conflict. That's the magic of homeopathy if it's applied in the most indicated way. But what can you do on the external side? So stay away from the chemicals and the scrubs and the washes because they often contain these plastic particles which not only pollute our environment but really are useless. So I'm going to give you some natural tips here. Of course you want to cleanse your face first and particularly with stubborn pimples and blackheads. Get yourself again apple cider vinegar and put some raw honey, organic honey in there and some coconut oil. Just mix it up in a little paste, put it on your face and wash it off with a damp cloth. Then you want to tone afterwards after the cleanse your face. Again apple cider vinegar. Get your cotton wool out, dab the apple cider vinegar on and just put it particularly in the affected areas and it will um, nicely cleanse the pimples because um, we want to get rid of this bacteria and fungus and apple cider vinegar is so great because it contains a lot of potassium, magnesium and enzymes which are able to do so. Also when you take it internally, as I mentioned before, you change your pH level from too acidic to more alkaline scale which will help not just your skin but your whole organs. Now two to three times a, a week I would suggest a healing mask and there's nothing better than clay. It's just natural bentonite clay. You uh, get yourself the powder. You can take the clay also internally but that's more than for your digestive system. But externally applied, get yourself a little powder um, and mix it up with lukewarm water. Make yourself a nice paste, put it on your face wait 10 minutes and then uh, wash it off with uh, warm water again. Clay is a wonderful antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, antiviral agent. I suggest it for any skin condition from eczema to psoriasis to uh, wounds to ulcers. It really heals it very well. You also can do a yogurt and honey mask and here I would say one tablespoon of raw honey and one tablespoon of yogurt. Again, put particular attention to your hairline because you don't want the hair to get stuck into the honey. Again, wait for 5-10 minutes and then gently wipe it off with a damp cloth. Another healing mask is also a cinnamon and honey. Uh, very, very helpful. Again, two tablespoons of raw honey and one teaspoon of coconut oil and half a teaspoon of cinnamon. The combination of cinnamon and honey is uh, very, again, antibacterial, anti-inflammatory and helps very well. Five to ten minutes, let yourself rest with this mask and then wipe it off with a damp cloth. Tea tree oil is often suggested here and yes, it helps, you know, yet because we have here homeopathic remedies involved, I don't want to suggest it. Any strong smelling substances, particularly in tea tree oil, uh, can antidote the efficiency of homeopathic remedies. So you want to leave it out here. I think I gave you enough suggestions so you maybe don't need the tea tree oil at that time. So this is where I'm at today. Simple and easy but very effective. So to stay updated with ongoing videos now, I do from A to C the whole gamut of common ailments uh, which happens usually among loved ones and families. So stay tuned. I encourage you to subscribe to this channel, share 
and like it with your family members or your loved ones or friends. And also if you are interested in very comprehensive home study online courses, uh, go to my website medicanova.net at the online academy. There you find great courses in first aid homeopathy for the family as well as during pregnancy, labor and postnatal care or quantum healing even. And although these are online courses, I will guide you step by step through an amazing and life transformative process, empowering you to connect with your body and soul in a very new way again. So I'm here for you all the way. Also, if you're interested in a general health consultation for yourself or your children, why not contact me at my email health at medicanova.net. So for today, much love, take care. Thank you.